Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to the DVT at home workout series. Tonight we're going to be doing some core and conditioning training. So get your water bottle. All you're going to need is a step up stool or even like a book or something to kind of step onto. Only about yay high and that's it. So get your water bottle ready. Get your pre-workout in you if that's what you're taking and let's get to work. All right, you guys, for the core and conditioning workout tonight, we have four total circuits. There's six rounds on the first one, which I'm about to get to, and then three rounds on the other three circuits. 30 seconds between each round, which we'll kind of go over. I'm not even going to go over the workout right off the bat. You guys are just going to follow along. If you just want to skip ahead and check it out, it'll be listed below here. But I'm just kind of going to get into it. So we're going to start with what's called skaters. Then we're going to transition into burpees. 20 skaters, 10 burpees. All the skaters are, and again, you can jump side to side, keeping it narrow, get longer, um, longer stride, sorry, as you get going. Um, it's up to you. 20, meaning 10 per side. All it is, obviously, jump it here, and there's only one foot on the ground at all times. I'm not coming over here and planting. So as I jump, I'm on my left foot, right foot, and then this, this back leg kind of swings behind, right? So I'm gonna try to do it without hitting this couch, but from here to here, to here, to here. And again, trying to jump for a further distance on each stride and getting, uh, I guess, the range that I'm trying to work with. You can start narrow, try to get a little wider with it uh, as you get going. Then we're gonna hop into some burpees. I'm gonna have to step out, hopefully I'm still in frame. But again, burpee, we're gonna start with a jump, get into it. Push-up, again, if you uh, are a little fatigued from the push-ups the night before, or the workout before, if you've been following along, don't do a push-up. Jump up, come down into a standing plank, and get back to the feet, and jump up again. But anyways, we're going to be doing 20 skaters, 10 burpees, five rounds. I said six, sorry, but it's actually five. 30 seconds between each round. So I'm going to get into it right now. Three, two, and one. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Looking ahead, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Bending that knee as you land, twenty. All right, right into burpees again. If you can't do a push up, don't do it. Just get into a standing plank. Three, two, up. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you can't do push-ups, here's what it'll look like. Here, back up. Seven, here, back up. Eight, nine, and 10. 30 seconds on the clock. I'm gonna start my timer, get a sip of water, try to get the heart rate down. We got five rounds of this. That's one, see you in a bit. All right, you got your water in yet? Second round coming up, 20 skaters. As I've said before, try to keep getting that much larger stride, starting narrow, getting larger, getting larger, um, and kind of reaching out there. Then we get into the bur burpees again. If you can't do push-ups, don't do them. Just get into the high plank. All right, let's get into it. Three, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cushioning that landing, 12, by bending that knee, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, right into the burpees, here we go. And one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, ten, thirty seconds, get some water, let's get round three in. All right, guys, round three coming up. Round three of five, 20 skaters, 10 burpees again. Let's get it. Three, two, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, looking ahead, 11, keep that balance, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 10 burpees, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, two more, two, one. Whew. Get some water, 30 seconds. Let's keep this heart rate going. I'll be back for round four. Hi right, guys, round four or five. You know the drill by now, 20 skaters, 10 burpees. Let's get it, three, two, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, letting that back leg hang. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, take a couple breaths. Three, two, one. We got 10 burpees. One. There's one, sorry. <laughs> two. Three. Four. Five, keep breathing every rep. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. Water, 30 seconds. We got one more round. This is warm up. We then have three more circuits after this. Um, they all have three exercises. Get your breath. Get some water, I'll be back. All right, guys, round five. I'm still out of breath, I don't know about you, but let's get it. We got 20 skaters, 10 burpees, big strides. Let's go, one, two, looking ahead, three, cushioning that landing, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 10 burpees, three, two, and one. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. First circuit's done. Five rounds of it. We have coming up next after a minute break rotational switch blades. I'll show you what those are. Superset with side planks, ten per side, and then high knees for some conditioning. 30 of those, three rounds, 30 seconds in between, but take a minute now, get that breath back. Obviously I need it. Let's get some water. We'll come back to this. All right, you guys, I hope you got enough rest there. We're on to the circuit number two. It involves rotational switch blades. I'm gonna show you what they look like in a second, 10 in total. Then we got side planks, we got 10 per side, and then we have high knees, 30 in total, which we'll get to all of them. I'm just gonna start right into it and I'll show you the form as we kind of go along. We're going to get into this three rounds, 30 seconds between each round. Here are rotational switch blades. Again, we have 10 in total. So what we're going to do is throw your heels into the ground away from you, knees slightly bent, hands behind your head. I'm going to crunch up high enough and then I'm gonna lift my leg and cross over with the opposing arm, bringing the elbow over, squeeze, and come back down. What it'll look like is up, over, and the leg comes up, okay? So that's one. We're going to do 10 of those. 
then we're going into our side planks and then our high knees. But I'm gonna start into it for the first round in three, two, one. Up, over, one. Up, over, two. Up, over, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, now we have side planks. I want you to stack your shoulder onto your elbow and then stack both of your feet. The opposing hand and arm goes straight in the air. You're gonna sink your hips in the ground, look ahead, and one, two, three. Feel this on the inside oblique. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, next side. Same thing, shoulder stacked on elbow, both feet stacked, opposing hand and arm straight in the air, hips come down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, high knees, shake it off. So for one rep of high knees that I consider is one, two, that's one, we're gonna do 30, I'm gonna count them in tens. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 30 seconds, get some water, and we're back into it for round number two. All right, you guys, back into it for round number two. We got 10 rotational switch blades starting it off. So you want your heels into the ground, away from you, slight bend in the knees again, hands behind your head, taking deep inhales and exhaling as we progress up, and then lift the leg and switch over you know the drill, you already seen it once. We got 10, and let's go. Up, over, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, making sure to cross over, nine, 10. All right, 10 side planks per side, shoulders stacked on the elbow. You know the drill, feet stacked, right up, looking up, then looking ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, really get those hips up. Eight, nine, 10, same thing on the other side. Shoulder stacked above the elbow. Let's get up, look, look ahead. Hips, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All right, 30 high knees in three, two, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Water break, thirty seconds. We get the last round of this. We're moving on to the third circuit. It's a lot of fun. We'll tell you what it's about in a second. Get some water. All right, you guys, third and final round of the second circuit. We got rotational switch blades. 10 
Ooh, 10 in total, then 10 per side on the side planks, 30 high knees. Let's get right into it in three, two, and up, over, one, up, over, two, three, four, five. Remember, if these switch blades are too hard and you're having a difficult time kind of coordinating it, resort to crunches, pushing straight up, not coming this way. We'll finish off the last five with up, contract, hold, and release. Two, three, four, five. Okay, now we're on to our side planks. Shoulder stacked on the elbow, both feet stacked on each other, hand up here, looking ahead, and one, two, three, four, five. Really jack those hips up, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, same thing. Next side, shoulder on elbow, feet stacked. Get those hips up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, high knees, let's finish it off. Three, two, and let's get it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Really get those knees up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Third circuit coming up. Take a good minute. Get that heart rate down. Take a sip of water. We have planks with shoulder taps. I'll show you those in a second. 20 of those in total. We got jump squats, 20 in total. We got toe touches. So this is where you're gonna need your stool. We got 30 in total on those. Three rounds, 30 seconds in between. We'll be right back. All right, you guys, so planks with shoulder taps, 20 taps. So you're gonna get into a high plank, like so, okay? Have the shoulder width stance with the feet. I'm kind of slipping on the carpet, that's all right. You're just gonna go one, two, three, four, 20 taps in total. We're gonna get up, go right into our jump squats. One, two, for 20, those are gonna be tough. Then we got 30, uh, toe touches. I'm gonna use the bottom of this stool. You could stack up a couple books, really whatever. Just something about yay high. You're not really putting any pressure on it. All it is is one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna go for 30, okay? So, stool to the side for now. 20 touches, plank touches coming up. Then 20 uh, jump squats. I'll get into it for the first round in three, Two and one. Two, three, four, five, six. Keeping that core tight. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Right into 20 jump squats. Getting down. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, looking ahead. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That wasn't much of one. Ten. Then 30 steps. Bring the stool into play. Here we go. Looking ahead, chest is high. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, ten more, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thirty seconds. If you need more, take it. Get some water. We're right back to the shoulder taps for a second round of three. Let's get some water and come back to it. Second round, I'm still out of breath a little bit, but we're having some fun with it. So, 20 shoulder taps, 20 squats, jump squats, and then 30 uh, toe touches. Let's get right into it. High plank, make sure you're keeping that core tight throughout. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, get that out of here. Big deep breath. All right, 20 squats. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now time for these. We got 30 toe touches. Trying to stay upright, high, keep that chest high, breathe through it. Let's count them out in three, two, one, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thirty seconds. Get some water. We got our last round. And then our final circuit, we got three rounds on that as well. It's all core, the conditioning's done after this. So get some rest and we'll come back. Third and final round, let's bring it. 20 taps, 20 uh, squats, and 30 toe touches. Three, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, right into some squats. One, two, last round. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, 30 toe touches. This is where I die. I'm trying to count them out, keep breathing, keeping the form. Let's get some breath here. Three, two, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, there's the third and final round of this. We have one more circuit. It's going to be all core, all abs. We have knee to elbow crunch. We have 12 per side on there. I'll show you what that looks like. We have V-ups on the ground for 20, and then we have lying leg raises for 10, three rounds, 30 seconds in between. Let's get a minute right now. I'm gonna get some water, and we'll be right back. All right, you guys, fourth and final circuit. We have three rounds of this. As it goes, 30 seconds in between each round, we have 12 per side on knee to elbow crunches which I'm just gonna show you as we go. We have 20 V-ups on the ground, and then we have 10 lying leg raises. 
that follow right after that. So, knee to elbow crunches. What that's gonna look like is, get this microphone out of the way. So, the opposing hand on the ground, I'm gonna try to drive this elbow to the, el uh, to the knee, sorry, or as close to, squeeze, contract, and stretch out. As I stretch out, I look to the opposite side, the wall, I stretch through my core, and I drive through. So we're gonna do 12 per side, and then go from there, okay? So, three, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12, and switch. Same thing applies, hand on the ground, other hand behind the head, looking here, stretch through, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three, two, one. All right, moving into V-ups on the floor. You can make these harder by getting on maybe the corner of the couch or something to elevate the legs. But for this sake, we're gonna sit on the ground. Your hands are gonna go kind of slightly behind you. Your feet are gonna come off the ground of your heels at least, and then bring your feet together and bring it in. One, tuck the knees in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, the last one, we have lying leg raises. These are difficult. I want you to form a triangle with your hand, rest your tailbone inside the triangle there. We're gonna lift our legs off the ground, keep them off the ground, raise them, and slowly lower them to the ground. Again, 10 of those, just using the lower portion of your abs here to do all the work. So, I got the triangle underneath my tailbone here. Get this microphone out of the way. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna tuck my head up to kind of contract the top of my abs. And from here, one, two. You'll feel that pulling the abs on the way down. Three, keeping it contracted at all times. Four, five, six, sitting up. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, 30 seconds here. No conditioning, just core on these. We got two rounds, get some water, and we're coming back. Second of three rounds, the second last round of the night. We have our 12 per side knee to elbow crunches going down. We're just gonna hop right into it. Hand behind the head, other leg out, opposing leg. Arm on the ground, stretch it out, and three, two, and let's go. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, same thing on the other side. Switch it up and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, right into V ups again. Keeping those heels off of the ground at all times. Really creating that tension, allow it to pull in the core. Just keep your hands either by your side or a little bit behind you. And let's get into it. Tuck the knees in, bring them into the chest. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Those are getting tough. Okay, so now we have lying leg raises. Triangle on the tailbone, 
lift it up, control the legs down, let it really pull on that lower part of your abs, and let's get right into it. Triangle here, all right, in three, two, lift up, contract, up, one. And let your abs do all the lifting in the legs, three, four, squeeze the top, five, exhale, six, seven, eight, nine, and squeeze and slow. Good, okay, that was the second last round. Let's get ready, get your breath back. We have the last round of the workout. I'm gonna grab some water and we'll be right back. All right, you guys, third and final round of the core and conditioning workout tonight. Here we go, we got 12 per side on the knee to elbow or elbow to knee crunches. Okay, we're gonna start here and let's get it. Leave everything you got on here in three, Two, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three, two, one. All right, next side, and go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, three, two, one. All right. Now, time for the hardest ones, or at least the hardest ones for me. We got the V ups. I love these ones. Again, if you guys are finding this easy, find a ledge, find a, the stool, find the corner of the couch, and really, really. Um, I guess elevate the feet. As you can see, I'm only coming off a couple inches. You can get on the corner of the bench and really try to make this a little bit more difficult, but for the sake of the video, we're staying on the ground and I'm burdened. These 21s are killing me, so let's get into it in three and two, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, lying leg raises. Remember the triangle on the tailbone. We got the final 10 coming up. Here we go on the tailbone. Get around that microphone. Three, two, lift up, contract, one. Don't just swing, two. Let your core do all the work. Three, squeeze, four, exhale. Five, then control. Five, four more. Four, three, two, and one. All right. All right, you guys. That is the third and final core and conditioning workout of the Diversion Training at Home Series. Hope you guys enjoyed this. As you'll see in the notes below, I kind of talk about how to program this how to fit it into a weekly schedule, whether you want to do three days a week, six days a week, how you want to go about it. And don't forget guys, there is a supplement world discount code below for you U of R students. Get that, it's 20% off and there's also a free protein shake waiting for you there. My email, my Instagram handle, anything will be below if you have any questions. I really hope you guys enjoyed this workout. Thanks for tuning in.